Yeah, so in our laboratory, undergraduate students play a large role. We have uh, 37 undergraduate students who work in our lab and students do a whole spectrum of different things. So we look at the way that people respond to stress, both in terms of the way their heart responds, but also the way they respond in terms of their psychology. So how they feel about stress and how that relates to different outcomes that matter for mental and physical health. In high school, I took AP psychology and that's how I discovered that I really enjoyed it and really enjoyed the subject matter. So coming in as a freshman, I knew I wanted to get involved in something psychological, but I hadn't ever taken psychology courses here at college. So I was a little nervous, but it turned out all right. You really get trained in everything you know. We have journal clubs and the doctors will thoroughly explain and you can ask questions about any of the protocol or how each step fits in. So there's really, there's no worries. So to be in our research lab, you don't have to be a neuroscience or psychology major. You don't have to have taken any classes before you apply to the lab. Um, we have students who range from psychology to neuroscience to biology, business fellows, math. We have a wide range of students. The most important thing is that they are interested in learning and being part of the team. Over the summer, I worked on an NIH-funded study in, the, in Dr. Ginty's lab, and it was called the laser study, is what we coined it as. Um, but we essentially uh, shine a laser at someone's head and determine to see how, like, if we stimulate the brain cells, um, to see if that could lower their stress response to a stress task. And being able to be in like a massive government fund, like very important uh, research. So funny story, uh, I was a freshman and I got an email to uh, participate in a laser study. I had no clue what that was. And so I just signed up um, and it was three visits. So the first visit, uh, I went down to the atrium in the BSB and person or research outfit, uh, they just approached me and they're like, come upstairs. So I went upstairs, I did the study, I got paid for it, and then I came back for the other two studies. And then throughout one of those studies, I asked them, I was like, hey, how do you get into this? How did you start this? And they're like, oh, you can talk to Dr. Ginty, who was there, uh, and I met her that day. And she's like, just look on the website and there's an application there. It's really cool because every college student experiences stress and being able to learn how that actually impacts our health is really interesting because from here, the next step is determining how we can effectively reduce stress um, and getting more funding to uh, reducing stress and studying those ways. So being a part of that is really, really cool. The coolest part of this job is to be a part of something that really makes an impact. So you know that you're doing something for a bigger purpose and you can see how all of these tiny little steps combine to a larger paper and then sometimes you can see that paper be published a few years down the road. One of the best parts uh, about the lab is that I'm able to learn how to communicate with people because I'm an introvert and so it's hard for me to talk to people and so when participants first come into the lab I'm able to start talking with them, getting to know them and just make small talk. I think in the future I want to be a doctor and as a doctor you got to learn how to connect with people emotionally um, when you first meet them, you know, so this is a great way for me to learn that. I think Baylor is a unique place for students to get involved in research because although we are an R1 institution, we have still the mindset that training undergraduates and undergraduates gaining experiences is important. And so with that, students here have a unique opportunity to be involved in research at a level they may not be at another large institution that's research heavy. For example, students here can take research as part of their classes. Um, but they also get the chance to apply for research and learn from faculty who are dedicated to mentoring them. 